Hello Virgo, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Virgo, because this is a general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. <clears throat> Excuse me, they can always be flipped. So Virgo, just take what resonates, apply it to your situation. Um, or what I'm already confirming that you know to be true, but especially more importantly, what your intuition has been telling you all along in regards to you, your heart space, your situation, and perhaps a certain person that's on your mind. Virgo, I'm here to simplify tarot for you in gaining clarity, insight, and of course, confirmation for you of what you already know. Let's get straight into it, Virgo. I am, will be uh, focusing this reading for those that perhaps have a particular person on your mind. Whether you are in connection or not, we will find out. So maybe you are with this person and you are talking, or maybe you have you know, disconnected, you have broken up. Maybe it's been some time since the last time you spoke to this person. I do want to do this reading from their perspective, Virgo. So it's a bit of a twist in this reading. I want to know their true thoughts and feelings about you and the connection that you have or once had. Yes, um, and we will find out about that. We'll get to the bottom of it. Is there anything else that they feel about you? Is there anything that they wanted to say to you, but they haven't said? You know, it's more of a heads up for you, Virgo. And, you know, are there any changes that are happening? Um, but more importantly, though, this is a, more of an energy check in with your person. So let's get straight into it. Let's see, for Virgo, please. I got a bit of stuck energy from your person, but let's see. What's happening, please, with Virgo and their person? What's happening, please? One more. Perfect. I'd like to get a, a nice shuffle here for you. So what's at the bottom of their deck? Well, your deck, but their intentions. What do we have? Ooh, all right. We start with the message card already. We've got Page of Pentacles ruled by Virgo. Perhaps for some of you, there is also like an age difference as well. There's something that's different here about both of you, which honestly, if there's love, you're both adults, that should not matter at all. But we have someone here that wants to message you. They want to offer you something though. Now this could be extending the olive branch, saying, can we meet? And I say meet because this is usually my face-to-face -face communication. For some reason, it's very important that your person sees you face-to-face. -face. So whatever they want to offer you here, um, Virgo, they want to see your reaction. I feel like that's the, probably the only way they can read you um, as well. Mm, about what? What happened here between both of you? About what? Oh, okay. All right. We've got judgment here ruled by uh, Scorpio. So mm, they're asking you for a second chance, Virgo. Very clearly. They're making the ultimate decision here, the final call. Yes, the ultimate judgment here about you. So already I'm going to say you're probably not in connection. You're probably not talking to each other, um, Virgo. And if you are... For those that are, it's very inconsistent. It's like you probably chat once a month or once every two months, for example. Um, but this is them asking you for a second chance to bring this connection back to life, see? To give it a second try. That's why it's so important for them to see you face to face. Now, for those that are in a long distance connection, FaceTime is the best thing, for example. Um, but it's just important that they can only kind of read you by looking at, you know, your face. Um, oof. Oh, they're up in the head about this. Okay, so they're very, very nervous about this, <laughs> um, Virgo. Yeah. This is ruled by Gemini, the Eight of Swords. This is very anxious energy, very nervous energy here. They're really up in the head about this. They want this discussion, this talk here to be successful. See, on challenging days, Virgo, your person is just thinking, yeah, I'm just going to hold back for now. I'm too nervous. There's no way they're going to, you know, for example, forgive me or take me back. They're not going to listen to me. I can't hear this connect, uh, heal this connection, for example. Um, ooh. Okay. What happened? Mm, okay. Something happened here. See, for me as a reader, I don't like seeing two queens. I really don't. Just like I don't like seeing two kings as well. It starts to get a little bit complicated when we have perhaps a third party situation. Now I'm seeing here we have air sign. We also have very strong um, earth sign. Now th this is the thing. Uh, was your person here committed to someone else? Were they married to someone else? You know, and it's almost like at the moment, I just, this is what they want to talk to you about. Okay. What did your person do? I'm wondering what situation did they put you in, Virgo? It got quite complicated because clearly we have, there is a third party here. Now, this, yes, could be, for example, that, you know, there was a partner that they had that was seeing someone. But this could also be 
perhaps a family member, a friend. Um, ultimately, there was there was someone in this relationship, someone else, and they shouldn't have not been there. And this is what they want to talk to you about. The Eight of Wands. This is the second fastest moving energy ruled by Sagittarius. This is a lot of incoming messages coming your way. Ooh, Seven of Swords. They want to give you good news with that Page of Wands, but the Seven of Swords, you don't trust this person, don't you? Um, you're not seeing them in the best of light. Aquarius energy there. This could have been some lies, sneaky energy behind your back. Ooh, it's like they almost feel here with that Eight of Swords. They have no right to ask you for a second chance or to reach out to you, but it's not going to stop them though. So perhaps this is more of a heads up for you, um, Virgo. So what's the head of your reading here that kind of governs everything else? We have the Knight of Wands. This is my traveling knight. Sometimes, yes, it does have a reputation here. Um, Sagittarius, Leo and Aries energy that this Sometimes it can show this person can be a player as well. I don't always pick that up. It's not always fair to you know pinpoint you know the Knight of Wands like that. They may have been a player, um, maybe because we do have that Seven of Wands, which can show stuff that was happening behind your back as well, though. Um, they may actually be reaching out quite impulsively here as well. Um, this person can be a bit of a hothead, a bit of a temper as well. Sometimes I can't control their emotions. But they're very passionate. Now, this is when someone is literally charging towards you. They want these passionate changes and messages coming your way, though. But they need to get through this. This is a bit of a mental block here. You know, it's like, oh, Virgo, do you honestly 100% trust this person with your life, though? So, hmm. I mean, they're coming in with a lot of passion and enthusiasm. You may have other ideas. Let's continue. Okay, so what are they coming? What are the changes that they want? Is that they want the Ace of Pentacles. So they, it's the, clearly they want a brand new beginning with you. They want a solid beginning with you. The Ace of Pentacles is, it is very trustworthy. It's very grounded because this new beginning is something tangible. You can kind of see it before you, you can touch it and it grows before you. You know, the Ace of Cups is more about that brand new beginning with feelings of love, which is great, but this is something a bit more, okay, I can see the proof that this person is changing. I can see this, this, and this. So it makes a bit more confident, you know, looking to the future with this person though. There is something major here that they're going to be offering you though. We've got a solid new beginning here. This often does lead to a very committed relationship, engagement and marriage, should you want that. It's definitely there for you. Yeah, we've got the sun, my favorite card. I always preach about this card, Virgo, ruled by um, Leo. It's my favorite card. I don't care where it is. We're at the bottom of the deck. It's here, here, or here. This is always showing that perhaps this could actually show you a very happy outcome. It is pure happiness, bliss, joy, yes? Um, and it's also, um, it blesses any other cards like this one or, you know, the Eight of Swords, which it does soften the effect of it. So this is looking pretty good, Virgo, but they're really going to have to earn their trust back here. This reading reminds me a little bit of um, Aquarius. I actually did Aquarius before. Um, but theirs was a lot more heavier, the energy. This is actually a bit more lighter. Let's see. Queen of Wands. Okay. They're going to be taking action towards you. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Um, so this person will be taking the lead. That's very obvious of what the King or the Queen of Wands does. They take the reins. They take that leadership role that to have this with you, they need to reach out first, extend that olive branch first and actually fate, you know, deal with this. Because I do feel that they were called out here because as you can see, someone is trying to metaphorically sneak away. But they got called out. It's like the crow is saying, you're not going to get away with this. I'm going to let everyone know what you just did. Um, so they're going to have to face the music here. But they're, they're very passionate here about you. You know, mm, I'm seeing a lot of action. All right. So what is the beating heart of your reading? Virgo, this card influences all the other cards. What do we have? Yep. Three of Cups. Ruled by Cancer. So clearly they want reconciliation with you. The Three of Cups is all about bringing peace back into and healing back into this connection. That's already clarifying for me that there was indeed um, a third party. And ironically, we have three queens, yes? Um, we have the, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So perhaps there were more than one person was interfering in this connection. Um, but clearly here, they do want, I mean, this is the most sociable card here. So they might even say, I'll take you out, you know, just anything just to kind of convince you that they are worthy of a second try of the judgment card. So we've already got two cards signifying a happy reconciliation here. I just see that you're very apprehensive here, Virgo. I, listen, I don't blame you. I would be very apprehensive as well. Just saying. Let's continue. Oh, wow. We got the Hierophant. 
Major Arcana for Taurus. This is my marriage card. So who was married here or who was in a committed relationship? Um, if there was indeed a third party, but what they're seeing here with you, they're probably not even saying it, but what they are feeling towards you, because the cups are all about emotions, they're seeing long term with you. Someone that they could really just grow old with. Yes, older with. Um, and they're seeing marriage with you as well. So with this reunion, I do see they can be quite successful coming in together, but they've got high hopes here that, you know, if they're coming back, they want to be here to stay. Oh, wow, now you've got your perfect match. The King of Pentacles ruled by Taurus could also be a fellow Virgo and Capricorn. We have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. That's all about commitment. It's like the it couple, the perfect match here to have a very strong, grounded relationship here as well. So a lot of things are pointing here to either commitment or marriage, which could happen quite fast, though. Mm. So what do we have? Five of Pentacles. So unfortunately, this is what your person may have done to you, ruled by Taurus. We have abandonment issues here. This will be addressed in the near future. So it's almost here that you, perhaps your person here, they may have blocked you. They probably just did a runner. They ghosted you or the person just gave you some, I always, I always say this, some kind of lousy reason or some excuse as to why they couldn't continue on with you anymore. And I feel like you caught on to their BS and you called them out maybe, or your intuition was always saying, hang on, nothing's adding up here with this person. Um, their actions, um, you know, their words, nothing's adding up here. Um, but there is abandonment issues. Now, your person may be worried here as well that you may reject them as well. That's a very big question mark hanging over your person. Will you reject them? Will you abandon them this time? Yeah, five of swords. They do acknowledge your Aquarius energy, by the way. The fives here are all about changes, transitions, um, challenges. Yes, of course. Um, but it's also about regret. And here again, we've got someone, you know, calling in the person's here. They're getting a headache. It's like, I can't believe what I did to Virgo. Um, so it's all about being selfish here, putting themselves first as well. Yeah. And forgetting, uh, hang on, Virgo's in this. Spirit said to get one more. Yeah, they regret it. Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. So they're feeling very melancholic at the moment. They're looking at their past actions, past words, and they're feeling, well, they're feeling quite stupid, to be honest. Um, and indeed, they do realize that this was a missed opportunity here. And we have the star card, um, Aquarius energy. So you are their dream come true. But they just, I have to say, they took you for granted. Absolutely. They took you utterly for granted. Let me clarify these cards for you. Oops. So obviously there was someone meddling in this connection. They shouldn't have been there. The person allowed this to happen. And now they're just regretting that they didn't control this situation, that they didn't put strong barriers um, in this connection. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, there's instant regret. Yeah, they're pretty much mentally beating themselves up over this. All right. Clarify, please, for Virgo and their person. I feel like you're being very responsible here as well. You're very wise, but now I think like your person's realizing it's like uh, they screwed up majorly here. Big time. Bottom of the deck. There it is again. That's why I like to shuffle on camera. It wants to keep coming out. Look at the regret. Your person's like, I can't believe I was so stupid. Look what I did. Gemini energy. There's a lot of anxiety here. This is definitely anxiety, sometimes depression, sleepless nights, um, weird dreams, nightmares, overthinking, having a lot of fear as well, paranoia, despair. But yeah, guilt seeks punishment. But now we've got the page of wands. They do want to reach out to you. They want to give you some form of good news. It could be even uh, I'm 100% single or, hey, let me make it up to you and let me prove to you um, that I am worthy of a second chance. The two of wands. Aries energy. So yeah, your person's on the verge of making a decision on how to reach out. This, this is basically showing when they take the first step. So I don't see Virgo that you will be reaching out to them first anytime soon. I feel like they will be reaching out to you because I do want to heal this. They almost feel like this is destined um, as well. Mm -hmm. Got the sun again. Wow. Pure positivity here. That's all it is. Pure positivity, ultimate happiness here. And we've got the star again. Wow, dreams coming true. But what's the what's the catch? Is that they miss you, Four of Cups. That's the catch. Is that you make them happy and they love you, but you're not there anymore. That's what's happening. 
So they're feeling very, very melancholic, very emotionally unfulfilled, the fact that you are not in their life anymore. But also, what did they expect if they, you know, if there is some form of betrayal here? I mean, Virgo, clearly you, you're not going to hang around for that, right? No. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. King of Swords, ruled by Aquarius. All right, so they're definitely coming in hot and heavy, but for what? To tell you the truth. That's what the King of Swords does. Um, and then I believe you got your ultimate match again. So you got the King and the Queen of Pentacles, the King and the Queen of Swords. So they want to talk to you. They want to tell you the truth. They may be very direct here and just get straight to the point of saying, Virgo, this and this happened. I did this and this because. And if you forgive me and I'm sorry, um, I want this and this with you, for example. Just fill in the blanks. Um, so, yeah. Mm. You may view them as also a little bit cold as what they did here in the past. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. That brand new beginning is with the Empress. Beautiful. The most abundant card in the deck. This is ruled by uh, Taurus, by the way. So this is the richest card in the deck. They hold you in high regard. They wish to give birth to this once more. Absolutely. That's what they'll be saying to you with that. I mean, everything's pointing to a brand new beginning because the Empress gives life, yes. Um, to projects, physical babies. So, of course, there could be children involved or the desire to have children. Um, but it is on top of it. Uh, uh, it's on top of the Ace of Pentacles, which is about a brand new beginning. So this is looking quite good, um, Virgo. I see here that you're going to be very wise and take your time with this person. Um, very clearly, they're kind of like desperate. It's the only thing they're fixated on is that they want this brand new beginning with you. Mm. Let's clarify the sun. Beautiful. We have here the lovers ruled by Gemini. Wow. So honestly, this is the lovers is about making a choice as well. It's about divine love, that deep connection here where the love and the respect is mutual here as well. That unity, pure romance, union. I feel like honestly, in time, this will make you both very, very happy. Absolutely. This just needs to be overcome, though. Trust needs to be restored um, when you are ready, when you are willing and able to trust this person once more. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Three of Cups again. We got it there. Now, the fact that we're getting now repeat cards from different decks, ruled by Cancer, by the way, um, you may be mirroring each other. That may be perhaps... Virgo, there is a part of you that would like to hear from this person, that would like to try one more time, but you're being sensible because you're not forgetting what they did to you as well. So it's a bit of a, a little bit of a war between the head and the heart. So yeah, they're going to be taking action towards you to have this reconciliation. Mmm. Let's clarify that three of cups. The hanged man. This is ruled by Pisces. So yeah, at the moment, your person is contemplating here. It's a pause. It's surrendering here to the unknown. Um, they're letting go. It's about waiting, gaining that new perspective from all different angles here about you and this connection. So they have accumulated wisdom. They have learned their lessons. And there's a bit of self-sacrifice here, perhaps of walking away from people, situation, and events that no longer serve them. Because clearly, the wish here is you. Yep. Wow. Amazing. They're a little bit uncertain because sometimes the hangman can show a bit of uncertainty during this waiting period because they just don't know, are you going to reject them? Mm. Clarifying the Hierophant, Five of Wands, Leo energy. So, yeah, towards the end, I do feel here that they're worried this could erupt into an argument that this, you know, that might trigger you in a bad way, you know, that you might bite their head off. The Five of Wands can represent like conflict, disagreement, some tension here as well, some rival rivalry, challenges um obstacles as well maybe there's competition for your attention as well maybe in the past there was competition for their attention um as well now if your person was involved in a third party i'm telling you right now there is no love if anything there's just arguments 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 there mm -hmm. and they find peace and they find respite with you so let's clarify the king of pentacles seven of swords again there we've got it twice now wow yeah, well, obviously, they were not honest with you. They were not. Very clearly, I mean, like, I'll just say very quickly, this is about betrayal, the deception, you know, getting away with something. On It's like dishonesty, sneakiness, trying to be cunning, cunning, um, you know, strategic here as well. Um, they also may be approaching you quite sneaky as well. They could still even be lying to themselves about you, but there's only so many times they can lie to themselves when they realize, oh, I can't live without Virgo. They are my shining star here. Let's clarify that five of pentacles. Five of swords. We got the five of swords twice now. 
Yep. Oh, they're not happy. Yeah. There was, I, I would not be surprised towards the end, Virgo, if there was a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements here, um, a lot of competitiveness, something unfair. This was very unfair that happened to you. Um, and it's almost like you may feel a bit defeated by this person as well. I feel like this person is very competitive. It's all about winning at all costs. But at what cost? It costs this connection. It costs you. So sometimes this is a very stressful card. It can show hostility, aggression, bullying, intimidation here as well. I mean, they may have been receiving this from the third party as well. Um, but I kind of feel here what they're afraid of is that, in other words, karma, justice is going to serve them and this is going to happen to them. Mm, let's clarify the ending. Yeah, we've got the two of cups. The true card of love ruled by cancer. So I said that you were mirroring each other. And this is the card where you do mirror each other. Yes, it's about unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, that romantic love, that deep connection that you feel for each other. They're certainly not giving up on you. Judgment, again, we've got judgment there twice. So perhaps both of you are probably curious to see, can we give this one more try? Can we bring this back to life? Yeah, and the Six of Swords, Aquarius energy, moving into karma waters together. Sixes are all about healing. It's about that transition, leaving behind all the drama of the Five of Swords. So we move on to the Six of Swords, yes? Moving to Karma Waters here, accepting the lessons. It's known as a rite of passage here as well, though. I'm deep, deeply thinking there was absolutely a third party involved here. Um, and your person broke your heart, and in turn, they broke their own heart. Um, they do want to fix this, though. They're just terribly afraid, yeah? of you know, the five of wands, the five of pentacles, the five of swords, your reaction, that you're going to oh, bite the head off. But they're still going to take that leap of faith here. Wow. This is a very interesting reading, um, Virgo. This is definitely a heads up that you are going to receive a message from them and they do want to see you face to face. They want to see your face, your reaction, um, when they say, hey, can we give this one more try? The biggest obstacle here, Virgo, is trust and mending your heart. That's the biggest one. Um, you know, as they say, it takes years to earn someone's trust and seconds to lose it. So, yeah, I don't, honestly, it's going to be an uphill battle for them to actually gain your trust, respect and love back. They're still going to try, though. I mean, ultimately, I am seeing a happy outcome. This is definitely not going to happen overnight for them, though. Virgo, I will leave this here. I wish you the very, very best. Um, with all these swords, it can represent also timing as in weeks as well. Um, and I do, honestly, I, I hope that um, if you do want this person back, if you want to hear from them again, I do wish you all the healing and all the love in the world. And I think you will, because remember, major arcanas are a lot more powerful than any minor arcana card. So I will leave this here. I will see you in the next couple of days. I wish you the best. If you did like this video, I appreciate that like button. This may very well help reach perhaps another Virgo that would like to hear um, this message, this video as well. I will see you in the next couple of days, Virgo. Much love to you. Take care. Bye.